How are shares faring today? And just give us some context because we need to look at what happened also on Friday uh, to get a sense of how good things are relative to speaking today. David, the shares are really volatile mm. right now. Um, Ushi Biologics um, is gaining a bit, 3.5% uh, um, as uh, it was just opening just now. Um, and that's following a record tumble on Friday, just as you said, after the news that um, there could be a draft bill and a proposed bill that could be enacted, perhaps, um, and that would impact the company's um, um, contracts with the American government. So that would actually Actually, if it, it, they say that it would be, the companies say that it would be, it is in a very early stage of discussion. So uh, in order for the bill to actually go and to be even proposed and even uh, passed, it would take a long time. And it would, it, they, they're right now um, just denying all these allegations uh, that is out there. So we, there are still uncertainties right there. But we know that if it is enacted, that would really impact that the company, that it will not be able to have any of the American uh, contracts uh, with the uh, w from from the U.S. But and and the the key issue is whether the private companies will follow suit. And if that happens, that would definitely weaken the investors' confidence, which we have already seen on Friday following following the news. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, they they came out in the statement, you know, saying business operation remains normal. Mm -hmm. I mean, what can we expect moving forward now in the next weeks or months? Moving forward, we hear that uh, it's, it's already been expected that today we will be seeing a little bit of uh, a rebound, and this could this could follow in the next few days. Analysts are telling us, but uh, definitely that weakened investor confidence and that sentiment towards the uh, China healthcare as well as uh, the companies, especially the two companies, means that uh, there could be a little more of the falling that we will be seeing um, when it comes to the the Ushi Biologics and Ushi. Uh, Aptek, both of them have uh, generated a lot of the revenues in you in the U.S., especially when it comes to the first half of 2023. So, given that it has a huge impact, um, and um, some of the analysts are saying that this could be uh, more of the investors gravitating towards the China, the, the pure Chinese healthcare, so rather the biotechs and the drug makers. Um, and and the, when it comes to drug drug makers um, and uh, the other parts of China healthcare, which is the the hospital. Um, for instance, the medical equipment makers, they have also had some hard time uh, last year uh, because of the anti-corruption uh, campaign uh, from the Chinese government.